Hi everyone, my name is Kia Collins. Um, I'm new here on YouTube, so please bear with me. Um, I don't have a lot of experience in doing videos and stuff, but you know, I'm, I'm doing this because the Lord has led me to do this. Um, I'm not a prophet, I'm just a regular person. I guess you can call me a person who always had visions and dreams. I always had dreams and visions ever since I was a little girl, but recently I was saved and received the Holy Spirit, and now the dreams are more vivid. Um, they come more frequently. The Holy Spirit visits me often during the night, and He gives me visions, and He gives me words, and now I just finally, you know, came to my senses, okay, I'm going to put this on YouTube, and I'm going to get this out to, the, to other people just like the Lord want me to, so here I go. I'm going to start off. Um, with some dreams that I've been having, I wrote them down, and then I'm going to give you the word that I gave the Lord, and I'm going to share some of my experiences with you. Um, if you would like to be updated on the dreams and, you know, what the Holy Spirit is leading me to tell you, then you can subscribe, and you can also go to my blog, my video blog, where I post you know, several videos a day from God's prophets and visionaries. I post them to my blog. Um, information about the end times. Um, the blog is called, um, let me see here, I have my computer up here. Okay, so my blog is called Biblical End Time Warnings, Prophecies, and Dreams. Um, the link, you can find the link on my video. I'll have the link on my video. You can click it, and when you go to my blog, you can Google Plus One Me, or you can follow me on my blog, so you can, or you can um, stay updated through email. Right here on the blog, it says, stay updated by email, never miss with Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is trying to tell us. Put in your email address, and every time I post a blog, I mean, every time, I'm sorry, every time I post a new video, you can um, stay updated by email, and the videos are really good. Um, you'll see most of the videos from Sister Stephanie, Called Out One, Sister Sarah, um, Brother Paul, and his channel is Doc Kids. These are, um, very good videos. Um, the Lord gives them word and visions just like he gave me. And I think that it's very important that you stay updated with the blog and stay updated with what the Lord is trying to tell us. And um, if you can, spread the, spread the blog link. It's not monetized. I don't get paid for anything. This is all done in the name of Jesus. It's, I, I don't want any money. I don't need donations or anything. Um, just for us to help get the word out there. Let's help people get saved. Um, I'm going to start off by saying how I got saved. Um, I was baptized at 11. I went to church sparingly, not all the time, but I went to church sometimes. I never was delivered through the church. I never received the Holy Ghost through the church. Um, church was just that church. I would go on Sundays. I would hear the preacher preach. I would um, feel refreshed or, or enlightened. And I would go home and I would sin. And I would keep living my life the way I've been living my life. Um, I started looking at the videos on YouTube and I ran across um, Sister Sarah and Sister Stephanie and um, Brother Paul and I just been looking at the videos and they've been having some very important information and messages and so you know I was interested I would keep looking at the videos and keep watching and you know and by me always being a person who had dreams and visions I knew that they were telling the truth and I knew that what they were saying was adding up. And um, I always did a bunch of reading like on Illuminati and, you know, spiritual stuff and stuff like that. So um, I knew that they were telling the truth about stuff. And it, it got me interested in looking at it more and more every day. And so um, as I'm looking at the videos, I can see that they are saying a lot of stuff about, you know, end time warnings and you know what Jesus said when he'll come back and these signs, you'll if you see these signs, then you'll know it's the end. And so one day I just went into my kitchen and I cried out to the Lord. I, I called out his name really, really loud. I said, Jesus, I said, 
I'm I'm tired and I'm ready. I just give I give my life up to you. I give everything to you. I'm ready. I'm ready to just give everything up, Lord. Make me a warrior. Please make me one of your 144,000. I want to be a warrior for you. I'm ready. I'm ready to slay demons. I'm ready to give everything up. Please please come to me. I'm I'm just ready. I cried. Um I was trembling. I started feeling funny. I started feeling like a tingle at the top of my head I started to feel a tingle and kind of felt like somebody or something was watching me but I just kept on praying and um so um later on that night as I got prepared for bed I laid down and as I was going to sleep I remember saying it to my mind um Lord Jesus Christ could you please just come into me come dwell within my soul come dwell within me Lord Jesus um, I'm ready to receive you, and I'm ready for you to come into me. I'm ready for you to come into my heart. And um, before you know it, I started to drift off to sleep, and I just started to feel this um, tingle, this electrifying feeling, like kind of like um, like being charged up. Like um, I felt kind of numb. It felt like a numbness, but like an electrifying numbness. And it became overwhelming. It started to charge up and up and up. And I remember um, yelling out, Jesus, Jesus, uncontrollably. Um, not by myself. I was just yelling it out. It was like a dream. It was like I was woke, but I wasn't woke. Like in between sleep and wake. And um, it was electrifying. It was just like I was being charged up. Like if you was to charge up your cell phone or charge up. Uh, I was being charged with this um, overwhelming energy, and then um, as the as the energizing feeling is going on, I started to have these visions, and um, that's what I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna tell you some of the visions that I had while I was receiving the Holy Spirit. At the time, I didn't even know it was the Holy Spirit until after I thought about it, and I said, um, "Did I just receive the Holy Spirit?" But you know, you know, they say you could be deceived and you gotta test the spirit and things like that. So for the for that next week I was wondering like I was kept asking myself, like, I wonder if that was the Holy Spirit or if, if that was something else. So I kept looking for answers and looking for answers and looking for answers, looking at videos, asking myself the question, asking the Lord the question. But I wanna go ahead and I wanna give you guys the vision that I had while I was receiving the Holy Spirit. So I'm just gonna put my Bible down right here. I got my little book of dreams. Um, only have a few dreams in here so far because the Lord told me write down the dreams. I should have been writing down a life full of dreams, but you know, I guess that's a part of receiving the Holy Spirit. You become obedient, you give up the worldly things, and that's what I have been doing lately. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Okay, so here's the dream that I received. When the same night that I received the Holy Spirit, the electrifying feeling, this is the dream that the Lord gave me. Okay, so as I was, you know, sleeping and receiving the Holy Spirit, He gave me a vision, a dream. Okay, so in the dream or the vision, I started off hovering over a large body of water, like maybe an ocean or a sea or something. And this is the starting point from where the Lord started me at in the vision. I started hovering over a large body of water, the sea of the ocean. And um, so as I was hovering over the sea of the ocean, we started to fly towards land. So as we flew towards land, I wound up at a place where I seen these guys. Um, and I believe that they were drug dealers. And um, one of the guys was sitting in the chair and he had a group of guys standing around him. And um, the guys was, you know, messing with the guy in the chair, saying, tell us now, tell us what you know, or whatever. And he was saying, I don't know, I don't um, I don't have any information, or whatever. And the guys looked like a gang that was surrounding this guy that was sitting in the chair. And um, this dream was related to um, the show, the reality show, T.I. and Tiny, A Family Hustle. Um, as the guy was sitting in the chair, and he was saying that he didn't know anything about what they was talking about, or whatever. They pulled out the gun and then they they shot the guy, and so Ti just popped from out of nowhere, and um, you know he was talking to the guy that was sitting in the chair. I believe to be, to be his best friend, the one that got killed that he always talk about, and he said that you know they killed my best friend or whatever, and 
um, in my dream, it was showing me that he was actually a part of that murder. Like, he actually had set the guy up. So, when he when he's talking about that they killed his best friend and, and you know, and that that was wrong and how he's so hurt, he was actually one of the ones that set the best friend up, possibly like a sacrifice or whatever. And, um, so after they shot the guy dead, I seen T.I., he fleed the scene, and he kind of like hopped up on a couple of, um, balconies. And as he hopped up the balconies, you know, to, to flee the scene, um, I kind of followed them, and I started, you know, flying up and following him as he hopped from balcony to balcony. And then he reached this door and he went into the door. And next thing you know, he was in his house with his whole family. You know, the one that you see on TV, T.I. and Tiny, the family hustle. So I'm, I'm in there and I'm just watching everything. I'm just like, a, um, I'm a watcher and I'm just watching everything. So as I'm um, walking around his house, I see him and Tiny, his wife, um, in a room laying on a bed and you know he joking as he usually do with the son and then I look in a couple of other rooms and I see the daughters the one that's you know um, singing now um, I don't know her name and then after I start to exit that part of the dream I talk to his the youngest son and he say could you can you help me with something could you help me and I remember saying yes I'll help you and then next thing you know it went to the second part of the dream which was the Lord led me to the White House Cause I remember seeing the, the dome part of the White House with a round part and then a tall stick um, come up out of the White House. So I was led to the White House and then um, inside the White House I was led to the kitchen. And when I had went into the kitchen I had saw um, some stainless steel kitchenware. And that was puzzling. The dream, meant, the dream had no sense to me. It meant no sense and it was like um, different visions that ain't even had nothing to do with each other but... I wound up in the White House, and I wound up in the kitchen looking at some stainless steel kitchenware. And then, uh, and then at the end part of the dream, I started seeing, in my mind's eye, um, visions of people. But um, in the vision, their eyes were all white. Like how the white part of my eye is, no pupil, but like, you know, like that. Like all white. I seen a man, a woman, and I saw a baby. Then I woke up from the dream. When I woke up from the dream, I was laying next to my husband, and I said, I said, um, I felt the electrifying feeling. I said, oh, my goodness, it was very electrifying. It was buzzing. It was buzzing inside me. Like, um, I said, and it was, it was really powerful, this electrifying feeling. I think I received the Holy Spirit. And so that was the end of that or whatever. And um, so, you know, I'm still thinking about the vision and everything. And I'm like, well, what, this, what is this? Um, what is the Lord trying to tell me? So the next day, I wake up, you know, going about my daily routine. And I get back on YouTube, start looking at videos like I usually do. And I come across a video that got a picture of T.I. and Tiny on it. So I said, let me click this video and, and see what this about. So I click on the video and it's talking about the spirit of Jezebel. Um, the Jezebel spirit and the video had a woman and her daughter on it and he was talking about how when you watch these VH1 shows and reality shows how um, it, it released a spirit of Jezebel and um, that was one of the things that I needed to give up too because you know I was into it real heavy love and hip hop um, T.I. and Tiny Housewives of Atlanta um, all of those shows is no good for you don't give up give up the bad shows horror movies um the love and hip hop those shows is really bad do not watch it um i i believe they put demons in us um and they have us acting like that with no time and you want to be like them and you have jealousy in your heart and just a whole bunch of sins so i learned about i learned a little bit i studied up on the spirit of Jezebel a little bit more the traits of Jezebel and stuff like that so I said, okay, Lord, you um, solved one part of the dream, but what does the other parts mean? Now, I don't know if this related to the dream or not, but my mom, she had, um, I was talking to my mom on the phone one day, and she said, I got you a present. I got something for you. And I was like, oh, yeah, Ma, what you get me? And she was like, I got you this um, stainless steel bar set because I have a, um, a bar in my in my dining room, a nice little bar set or whatever. And, um look kind of like the stainless steel set that I seen in the um the White House kitchen so you know now I'm puzzled about that too 
And so, um, you know, I'm still wondering about the, the, the faces that I seen at the end part of my dream where the people had all white eyes. It kind of looked de demonic a little bit. And in, in my mind, I was kind of getting that maybe these are the demons that are inside me that I need to get out. You know, now that I'm a new person in Christ, I'm saved and everything now, and I received the Holy Spirit. Was he revealing my demons to me? I'm still trying to figure out that part of the dream, and I'll I'll continue to ask the Lord, what does he mean, or he'll reveal it to me later. Now, um, that was that what happened. That's what happened the night that I got saved and, and I received the Holy Spirit. Um, I didn't have to go to church to get saved and receive the Holy Spirit. Um, I didn't have to go talk to my pastor, anything like that. It was it was from me going to Jesus personally myself. I went to Jesus and I called out to him, and I told him that I'm sorry. I told him that I want to repent. I give everything up. I give my life to him. I give everything up, and I let him be in control. And, and um, that same night, I received the Holy Spirit. Some people might take longer than others. I don't know. But that same night, I received the Holy Spirit. And it was all because I prayed to Jesus myself. I didn't ask anybody else to pray for me. I didn't ask the pastor to pray for me. I didn't have to go to church to get it. I was at home. I meant it. I cried. I poured my heart out. I told him that, you know, I want to give up my worldly life. I want to be a warrior for you, Lord. Um, I'm done with all of this. I'm just ready to give up everything. All of all of the the, the cussing, um, smoking, drinking, everything. And that's what you got to do to get saved. You got to go to Jesus yourself. You got to mean it though. Mean it. Um, tell him that you, you that you are basically ready. You ready to give? You ready to give up your life of sin? You ready to give it up? I'm not saying that you're not going to sin again, but that comes with you know you have to pray every day, you have to ask for forgiveness, you have to repent every day, and that comes with having a personal relationship with Christ. Your personal relationship, just like if you was to have a personal relationship with your friend and your mother or your father, I talk to him every day. When I wake up, you know I say my prayers, I ask for my protection because I know if I let my guard down. Them demons, they're going to attack me, so you got to stay on it. You got to you gotta stay on your stuff. Um, it's not hard. People be saying, it's hard. It's not that hard. If you can if you can obey Jesus, it's not that hard. It's really easy if you just obey him. I'm going to make some more videos because I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to cut the videos up and do some more videos. And this is my first video, so I'm going to try to get some videos out every day. When the Holy Spirit gives me a word or give me a vision, I'm going to come on and I'm going to try to give y'all more of what he tell me. I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all do me a favor and y'all let y'all peoples know. It is the end, y'all. This is no joke. It is tornadoes. It's big, gigantic storms. Um, the next pope is the is possibly could be the false prophet. Obama is the Antichrist. Um, spell out his name. Count up all the letters in his name. It equals up to 18. 6 plus 6 plus 6 equals 18. Obamacare is the chip. The chip is the mark of the beast. Do not accept the chip. Do not accept the mark of the beast. Because if you do, you automatically got you a one-way ticket into hell. It ain't no round trip. You ain't getting out. Once you in, you in. Don't take it. Don't accept it. I don't care under no circumstances. Get your head cut off. Um, get thrown in a FEMA camp. You better do it because let me tell you something. This this life on this earth will end. Wherever you go after you die is all eternity. It ain't no coming back. So if you get thrown in a FEMA camp for a couple of years, we only got seven years tribulation. So if you get thrown in a FEMA camp for a couple of years or whatever, then so be it. If you got to get your head cut off, um... It'll be a split second of pain, and then it'll be over. But but you'll get a your ticket into heaven for suffering for Christ. Do not accept the mark of the beast. You'll be hungry, be hungry, um, eat dirt. I don't care what you gotta do. Do not accept the mark of the beast. Um, you can start preparing like I've been preparing. Um, I'll be back. I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. You can do like I did, and um, I've been preparing. Um, you can go to eFoods Direct. See this? 
Oops, it's backwards over here. I'm sorry, y'all. E Foods, well, it's called E Foods Direct. You can go in there and they have um, food that has up to a 25 or a 30 year shelf life. You can start getting prepared now. If you know you're not going to accept the market of bees, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You're not going to be able to buy food. You're not going to be able to run your business. You can't sell nothing and you can't buy nothing. Um, so it's best to get prepared now. Um, stock stock up your house with food, medical supplies, um, everything. Start preparing like I've been preparing. It doesn't hurt to prepare. Even if the rapture do come before all of this, which we really don't know when the rapture is going to come. Um, so what? If the rapture happens before you have to go through anything, I can guarantee you that there will be people left. It, it will be family members left. It will be friends left and they'll be able to use the food you know and hold out longer until the lord comes back so it's not like you're doing it for nothing just get prepared you don't have to sit around and just um wait for anything to happen or you know some people say well i don't have to do nothing because you know the good lord gonna save me that's true but the lord also tells us to get prepared for things too not just sit around like a duh and just let stuff happen or whatever he gives us warnings to prepare also so it doesn't hurt to prepare you know and, and it is a little pricey but you can um start off with, with with one week's worth of food you can build up you can every week or every paycheck go on and get a little something until it builds up um that's all i have for now on youtube um you can click a link on my video and you can go to my blog I do a lot of research every day on the videos from like Sister Sarah, Sister Stephanie, Called Out One, Brother Paul, which is Dot Kids. Those are my favorites, and those are the ones who help me um, turn to Jesus because of their warnings and their messages that the good Lord sent them. It had me um, wanting to get on the right track through their messages, and hopefully I can do the same for people. So, um... Go to my blog, Google Plus One Me, because I'll be posting videos on um, my Google Plus One and on my blog. Stay up to date. You want to hear everything that the Lord is telling us. Um, until you get saved and receive the Holy Spirit and He starts speaking to you, it's good that you at least hear the word from us. Because there, there are some nights when the Holy Spirit comes to me and I can feel it coming on. It's like that tingling feeling, that that little twitch in my hand where my spirit starts to, my, I can feel it coming on. And then right after that, here come the dreams or the visions where I can hear, you know, not actually a voice, but like I can actually, my, my, it's like, um, how can I explain it? It's like when the Lord talks to me, when the Holy Spirit comes on to me at night, it's like my voice I can hear inside my head, but the words are not coming from me. It's like that. And, um... Whenever the word, whenever the Lord gives me a word or a dream or vision, I'm going to be posted it on my YouTube channel. And when I post it on my YouTube channel, you need to hear the word that the Lord has given me. Stay informed and plus get saved. You can do it right now. Call on the name of Jesus. Mean it. Have humility. Be humble. Um, tell him you're done, but you got to mean it. You can't just say it. You got to really be ready. You don't have to do it right now. Get prepared for it. Um, get yourself pumped up. Get yourself pumped up to do it tomorrow. Say, look, I'm giving I'm giving away them cigarettes. I'm done with those cigarettes. I'm done with that weed. I'm done with that alcohol. You don't need that stuff anyway. Your lungs going bad. You drinking. You saying stuff you don't mean. You making a fool out yourself just like I was doing. You don't need none of that stuff. You might as well give it up anyway because if you don't, you're just going to die later and go to hell. So you might as well go ahead on and give it up. Just give, if I can do it, you can do it. And I done done some stuff in my life. And I'm 31 years old. And I'm just now receiving the Holy Spirit. It took me all this time. If I can do it, you can do it. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close out this video. Um, you can go to my next video, which I'm preparing to make right now. I'm going to try to do several videos a day, if I can, at least one. But if not one, I'm going to try to do a lot. It's time. I got to get to work. It's the end. We got to get to work, people. It's time to get to work. It's time to get saved now. Not wait until Obama bring the chip upon us, which I believe is this year, next year, 
Um, not until, you know, some tornado blow past your house or the tsunami come and, and, and wash you away out your house. Do it now. Get saved now before it's too late. Put down Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of that stuff that's distracting you. Um, get off of there. Get more on YouTube. Start following God's prophets and visionaries and, and people filled with the Holy Spirit. Birds of a feather flock together. You hang with people who have the Holy Spirit, you eventually start to receive the Holy Spirit. You hang with people who don't have no Holy Spirit and who just want to follow the worldly things, you'll follow the worldly things. Get with us. Get with us the same way I got with Sarah, the same way I've got with Stephanie called out one and, and Paul, Doc Kids. I was on there every day, and then I wanted a piece of that. I wanted to, I, I said I want to get on here and tell my videos and my stories that the Lord been giving me. And, um... Join our team. Get with us. Get with the blog. You'll find a link on the video to the blog. I want everybody to go to the blog. If you don't feel like searching YouTube for the videos and the juicy stuff that the Lord been telling us, go to the blog. I got it all piled up for you because this is all I do all day. I pray. I, um, it's, it's kind of, I ain't going to lie. It's kind of boring. Like it's, it's a little boring until you start finding things to do in the Lord. You know, because, you know, you give up all the juicy, good TV shows. You know, you um, give up your smoking and your drinking and all that. But you can find other things to occupy your mind. You know, it's nothing more funner than hearing what the Lord told other people to warn us about. I love hearing it. I want to be prepared. I don't want to be left out. I want to get um, took up in the rapture. And that's exciting. And this is my new stuff to do. Um, I search on YouTube for, for good messages that the Lord sent. Um, and I and I pile them up on my blog. Um, I read my Bible. I and it's and it's really fun when you receive the Holy Spirit. Like when you get it and they start, it's it's interesting. It's fun. Like you get it, and they start telling you stuff, and you know, and it's like, wow, this is really happening to me. Yes, it can happen to you too. The only thing you gotta do is give up the worldly things and follow Christ. All you gotta do is just ask them ask him and he'll give it to you but you gotta mean it he know your heart so you can't fool him so don't even play all right y'all i love you youtube and um again my name is kia collins and y'all can start checking for my other videos subscribe to my channel and go to the blog google plus one me stay in touch however you can and um i love you and goodbye and see you next time in jesus name amen